Wow, it's beautiful out. I think I'm gonna go for a swim. All right, let's go out and get the pool ready to go. All right. Dad Random going out to get the pool ready for a swim. All right, all right. Let's get the pump turned on. And there, let's go ahead and get that puppy rolling. Right there. And right, let's uncover this sucker. <clears throat> oh man, it's gonna be so awesome. Oh man, every time, dang it, every time. If you look down in there, every time, you get that little bit of, of sand down there. You see that? That's, uh, you know what that means, guys? That means uh, getting the freaking hose out. Oh boy, this is never fun. All right, last year, uh, Last year we got this thing right here and it only has like 4,000 freaking feet of hose. All this freaking, freaking hose in there. There's gotta be a, there's gotta be an easier way, especially for the small dirt in there. You know, there's gotta be an easier way to clean that out. So, oh man, there's gotta be a solution. Just has to be. I'm gonna check Amazon, see if I can find something. They'll take care of, you know, kind of like, you know, kind of like, you know, in your house, they got those little tiny like Roomba things that go around and just every so often pick up all the, the loose debris. You know, most of the stuff at the bottom of the pool is not big and, you know, you gotta haul out all of that heavy equipment just to take care of that, just to take care of that sand down there, you know? It's just, there's just, it's just such a, it's such overkill. You think they'd make a Roomba for a pool? Well, cordless robotic vacuum pool cleaner to the rescue. Meet Boo Blue's Boo Bot. This is the Boo Bot 300P. The 300P comes in this box, it's about the same size as, uh, as a, uh, a robotic vacuum. A little bit bigger, I would say. And in it comes uh, this little accessory kit right here. And this is, there's actually a charger in here um, and just a couple of simple parts, a couple of, uh, couple of bottom brushes that my, I'm assuming they attach to the bottom of the vacuum and this recovery cord. So uh, I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to understand how it works. So that's my next step is to uh, get this thing out of the box and get it in the water. So looking at it at first, um, yeah, it's about the same size as a, as a, a, a an under a regular robotic vacuum cleaner. Um, it has a, just a simple one button uh, touch button. Um, here's the uh, charging port, and that's a rubber, a rubber piece that fits over the top. Um, I don't. I I know it comes. Yeah, it comes apart. It comes apart from the side right there. And inside is this this capture. Uh, this capture. Uh, but pretty much, it looks pretty simple to clean. So it looks like something you just hose right off. But this is like a capture grid. That just sits down in there. Pretty simple. There's, it's not a very complicated, uh, complicated machine at all. So I'm excited to get it in the water and see if it solves that gritty bottom problem that I have. All right, your pool. Now this thing is supposed to run, it says, for 90 minutes um, of working time. Um, I don't know about self-parking. We'll figure that out. Uh, cordless, I'm sure it's just, 
um, like a lot of uh, these. This one, I don't know. I don't believe it's a smart vacuum. I think what it does is it just it just cruises around the bottom, and I'm really good with that because I, I, you know, if I have a party and I want to do a quick sweep job, this is what I'm going to pick up. I'm going to definitely use something um, that's simple than pulling out, you know. You know, ten lengths of hoses, putting it all together, and you know, and all the other uh, you know crap you got to do with the traditional uh, vacuum. Now, this one is uh, much less expensive than a lot of alternatives, so this is kind of a uh, a quick solution uh, kind of device. So, this is not meant to replace a, a more sophisticated, uh, more robot that it, you know that you have that are corded and things like that. But if it could solve that problem and be cheaper, that would be a win. So let's go ahead and get it out in the water and try it out and see if it works. You saw the dirt that I have at the bottom of my pool. Let's get it in the water and then, and I'll give you my reaction as I uh, kind of learn how it works because I really don't know, but it's so simple. And that's kind of what I'm looking for is something that's really simple. I don't want um, a complicated device that, you know, just for picking up that, that bottom debris. And for 90 minutes, that means it can run, you know, for oh, well over an hour. So that's that's really good. All right, we'll be right back and uh, we'll check out, we'll watch it work, and uh, uh, I'll give you my feedback. All right, uh, Dad Random here at the pool deck. Here, I'm gonna set up this camera so when I put it in the water, you'll be able to see it. Um, let's get a good angle here. Let's get, yeah, that's a good angle right there. So we'll be able to see that this function. All right, let's get her in the water. Okay, so it says, I believe one of the things I saw um, is that this needs to be submerged for it to activate. So my guess is you need to have it in the water. I can imagine that you gotta get the air out of it. Uh, this is full of air. So let's let it, uh, oh, there it is, there we go. It's doing it by itself. Perfect. All right, so if you can see this in the video on that side, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and touch, there it is, it's activated. Blue lights are on, let's get it, let's throw it, throw it at the bottom there. <laughs> All right, there it's going, it's going. All right, All right. let's just let the D-ring float there and that's what it's doing. Pretty cool, that is freaking cool. That is really cool. <laughs> I love it. Because if you're, if you're a fan of tech like me, you're gonna get excited about this. All right, so let me, let me flip the screen over here. And there it is right there, running through the, through the pool. <laughs> so cool. Oh, that is so neat. That is really cool. Let's see, is it picking up the sand? Oh, of course it is. What a great little freaking toy for the pool. That is so cool. Now this is not, like I said, this doesn't have a, uh, um, it doesn't have like a robotic, like uh, pre-programmed track. So it's just randomly going through. So I'd say the only, uh, the only drawback would be, would be time, you know? You might have to recharge it. It says it takes three hours uh, to, uh, to go. And to get charged. But uh, yeah, there's a space down there that it's already cleaned. And it's just sand. That's all I care about is getting that sand at the bottom off. And I would say it runs fast enough. See, so it gets to the, to the wall and then it just flips speed and goes the other way. So pretty cool. So when it's done with its charge, um, this came pre-charged. When it's done, I will show you the bottom of the pool. Now, I am not gonna, I will not change anything in any way. Now, this pool, a little bit of information about it. It is about, um, we are 30, probably 30 by, by 15 or 20. And the depth of the pool is, at the, at the deepest point, is five feet. So yeah, it's nice. Let's see, there's some heavier debris right there. Yeah, it's just, it's just, uh, there, that's a good picture right there. Now you can see the marks that my other one left. <laughs> I 
All right, let's let it do its thing and uh, we'll uh, come back. All right. Dad, Dad random with his little freaking pool slave. I love it. Guys, I love tech. Tech is so cool. And uh, I just love watching it do the work, you know? Guys, there's nothing better than watching somebody else do your work. <laughs> it's so awesome. That thing's pretty fast, too. A couple of things. It's quick. Um, it's very nimble. It's completely silent. And it's actually picking stuff up. I can see, I can see uh, pathways that uh, it's cleared. And it hasn't just like brushed it by, it's actually, uh, it's actually uh, moved the material up. It's, a, it's gone. So pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and get camera two here working. There we going, there we, uh, let's see, camera two, are we ever yeah, running? All right, so camera two is now looking at the boo blue. Now, of course, it's not gonna get the stairs, okay? So let me just switch my camera around so you get both camera views. But uh, here it is right there. There's the stairs right there. Two versions of the stairway. But um, it's gotten almost, I would say, um, I, just to be very honest, about 95% of the bottom, that's the only spot right there. Right there, that's the only spot um, but everything is really good. Check that out. I have done nothing. It is a very, it's a very good day and still running. You can see that handle floating behind there. It's just buzzing around. It's done a great job. This is the deep end of the pool and it is completely clean. I, I, I can tell you right now, now the scratches on there are from my other pool cleaner. Okay. All right. And that one's got, uh, has uh, crawler tracks. This one is much more nimble. And um, in an hour, basically in an hour and a half, basically in about an hour and a half, it's completely cleaned my pool. So what we want to do now is retrieve it and then look at what dirt is inside of it. So absolutely excellent. I am, I think it's a great product. I think for what you're, even though it's not a true robotic product, it is, it does what it does. It sweeps the bottom. It basically takes care of bottom sand. And that's what I wanted. I wanted something that took care of uh, bottom sand. And this thing is taking care of that. Now, what I would do is I would sweep the stairs into the pool and then let the robot take care of the rest. So it's not, it's not, my pump is running on, on slow. There you go right down there. It's still just buzzing along. Still got one, um, one of the blue lights. So you can actually see in there. Let me see if I get around the other side. You can actually see the amount of power left. If you look at the very top, there's, a, there's some lights right there. And it's just buzzing along still. Very happy. It's almost getting that corner too. It's right now working the corner that has the sand. So let's, uh, let's go take it out of the water and uh, check it out. So you see that thing racing down there still, still racing? All right, so we're gonna go get the, 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 uh, the handle right here for the hook, see if it fits. So here's the handle right here, right there. All right, so there it is. Hopefully you see that. And this is the little retrieval hook. Probably could just grab it by hand, but this is what they suggest. All right, let's go out there. Cause it's running, man, it's racing. We gotta do a little, we gotta do a little pool bot fishing. Right there, see if we can get it, to, get it in a stopping point there. There we go, you see that? Get that hook up there. We got her! We've successfully fished. <laughs> I'm trying to work the camera at the same time. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get it out of the water and so you can see me shut it down. All right, here we go. So here is the, right there, here's the boo blue. So you basically just pull the two sides out and, oh man, um, the pan is full of sand. So this keeps the water in actually. That's interesting. And it, and it sits in the dirt and debris sits in the pan right there. 
So you see all that right there? Right there. So this right here, this little, this little membrane sits in there just like that. Actually, it sits the other way. It sits like this. And this traps the, this traps the, the debris in there. So it sucks up through the bottom. And uh, look at all that. Look at that. You see all those, that uh, plant debris in there? Picked up all of it. Very, very good. Excellent, excellent little little uh, little toy. Just all right, Dad. Random. I've got all of my robot pieces. I dumped the sand out. Okay. Now I'm going to hose this out. There's actually nothing in there. It actually kept that pretty clean. And uh, there's really nothing you have to do at the top part. Here, if you want to water your plants, you can do that. There's really nothing to clean out of there. Really good. Getting her ready. Now, if you have a salt pool, you might want to spray off the salt. Um, could be corrosive. So there's that. I'm going to set that out right there. Remember, that part has the battery in it. This really doesn't need anything. But once again, get the corrosive chemicals out of it. I always suggest that you clean everything. Now, this is the dirty part. This is the pan. And really nothing to clean out now that I've got the sand out. Um, put the jet on here. Looks like we got it pretty clean. Looks great. All right, uh, dead random back. Um, we're gonna go ahead and reassemble. Okay, I really don't see a front and a back. Um, I would guess that, yeah, it looks pretty much the same. So I don't think it matters. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, so uh, here we go. We're just gonna put the clamshell back together. Now, this membrane, this membrane here does fit one way or another. It does fit, so you see all that right there? You see that part? You see these little, right there, those little clips there? That goes down, just like that. So this top part is nice and flat. That goes down inside, just like that. Okay, all right, don't force anything together. And this just clamshells on top. And, whoops, let's get it lined up. There we go, just falls together, don't force it. Um, and then I guess you just, all you need to do is just take your cable and maybe just use this as a little bit of a, of a, you know, a place to store it. I would say, guys, I, I do not see um, an L in any of this product at all. I see only a win. Um, it really is good. I, and I, guys, I, I've been running, a, I was in the pool business for a while, for about 10 years. And sand was one of my biggest things. This could not do a big pool. You'd have to have multiple of these um, and a much bigger battery. But this thing for that pool is absolutely perfect for the price. Save some money. Now that other cleaner with the hose, that's actually a really good cleaner. I really like that company. Um, but for a quick cleanup job, I don't want to deal with that. I want, I want this. <laughs> so, all right. So once again, um, cordless, cordless, um, robotic pool cleaner, Boo Blue, Boobot 300. I really am happy with it. It's just amazing. I, I can't tell you that uh, this hasn't been a lot of fun and an easy review. Guys, reviews are easy of products. Now, the, the guys, these guys did provide me with this. They did provide me with this. And I'm not saying that this is good um, because they provided with me with it. It's good because it works. So if it sucked, you could tell. I wouldn't be as excited. So it's excellent. So, all right. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Um, guys, you can't go wrong. Boo Blue Robotic Pool Cleaner, the Boobot 300P. These guys make more products than this. This is just a really well, or uh, just a, easy to use, easy to store, not too big to put anywhere, no bigger than a robotic vacuum. Uh, just, guys, you can't go wrong. You really can't. All right, dead random. Boobot. Get one. You'll be happy.